What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be looking at my top five sealed Pokemon products to invest into right now. My name's Jamie Mann, otherwise known as Pokemon, and I've started this YouTube channel focusing on Pokemon, business and investing, and I'm bringing you guys along with me on the journey. If you haven't already seen it guys, I am doing a giveaway of this 151 booster bundle. For a chance to be involved, make sure you subscribe to the channel and then drop a like and a comment on this video here, which I'll link in the video and in the description, and you'll be entered in a chance to win this 151 booster bundle. So once again, once the channel reaches a thousand subscribers, the winner will be picked, and then you could be walking away with this 151 booster bundle. So make sure you get involved. Okay guys, so before I get into my top five sealed Pokemon product picks to invest in at right now, I do wanna look at some honorable mentions. Um, and to talk about straight away uh, 151. Um, so obviously 151 is crazy at the moment. Uh, we all know that it's the best set of, one, of Scarlet and Violet, hands down. Um, however, I would not be investing in this at all unless you can find the products at uh, retail price. Um, look, we can see the Ultra Premium Collection is selling for $200 on TCG Player. Uh, most recent sale, 197. It's just not the right time to buy into this, guys. Um, it's too high. Um, and unless, like I said, you can find this, uh, you know, at market price, you can find it on the original price it should be, retail price, then I wouldn't buy it. Uh, it's the same with the, the booster bundles, you know, these are $60, man. These are like, these are meant to be $25, um, $24. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's too far, it's too far gone. Like I said, get this if you can find it at retail. I know a lot of people see all these videos and pictures of Costco. Um, the bundles being picked up for like 50 people like people are picking up like 50 packs of these bundles Which is kind of crazy. Um, it's a bit sad, but I understand, uh, you know, the money to be made in 151 um, But yeah, I mean again if we just look at the the Charizard as well um, Yeah, just it's coming down, but just don't buy this single right now um, It will come down. It will set a new um, high or low uh, eventually um, it's not a pickup right now guys. If you've missed it, you've missed it. It's fine. These things happen. There's always another set There's always something coming up in the future that you can get so don't bother with 151 right now um, Leave it to the scalpers. I would say um, Another honorable mention I want to look at is Surging Sparks. Of course, this is the new set coming out um, What do I think is gonna happen with this set? Uh, like I spoke in the previous video if you didn't get this at retail you've missed the boat until it gets its reprint, which could be a couple of weeks after release, it's just gonna go crazy, in my opinion. Um, a lot of the discourse online is that it's under, it's, it's been short printed. Um, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I do believe that the demand for this product is completely outweighing the supply. I don't think the Pokemon company can, can keep up with the supply, uh, the demand for this product. And yeah, that's what's gonna cause this product to go crazy. I, I predict, you know, $200 boxes um, in the first couple of weeks, unless it gets a reprint before that, which I'm not expecting. Um, what's my play with Surging Sparks right now? Well, I have got a case coming. Um, I got it for about £580. Um, my play with Surging Sparks is that if the boxes go to £200 per box, I will probably sell half of those, make my money back, and then hold on to the other three long term and use that money that I sold to invest into something different. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions on 151 and Surging Sparks. Uh, now let's move on to the top five products to invest into. So at number five, I want to talk about Paradox Rift. Now, I think this set is ready to make a move. Um, it's completely undervalued. It's still $113, $114 per, per box. Um, it's got really great cards in it. It's got the, the Groudon, it's got the Roaring Moon. And I just think if you didn't pick this up in a year or two years, you're gonna see the prices go crazy and you're gonna regret having not picked this up. I think it's a really strong set. I think it's really undervalued. And yeah, this is something that I'll be picking up personally. I haven't got any right now. All my money is in um, Surging Sparks. Like I said, I, I, I picked up a case. So my money is kind of tied up in Surging Sparks at the moment. But if the Surging Sparks boxes go to 200 and I end up selling a couple, I will 100% be picking up a Paradox Rift um, and I, you know, I can't predict the future, but I think it's a really solid play to make right now. It's the one Scarlet and Violet box that I think is completely undervalued. I think, yeah, it's, it's a really great pickup. So this is my number five pick and let's move on to number four. So I want to talk a little bit about Sword and Shield right now. Sword and Shield is being completely overlooked due to all the Scarlet and Violet hype. You know, everyone's focusing on 151 and Surging Sparks. 
And I really think some of these sword and shield boxes are ready to go crazy. And I think Astral Radiance, I think all the sword and shield boxes or sets that have trainer galleries in them and strong alternate V-Arts, like for example, you've got the, the Palkia and the, and the Dialga, um, really, really strong cards, a really, really strong set. And I think this is a really good pickup. It's still $138 um, on TCG player. And then, you know, another thing that I always like to do myself is look at the Pokemon Center. Um, you can see Paradox Rift here, which I just spoke about. And yeah, you can see um, Astral Radiance here as well. If these boxes are still in stock on the Pokemon Center and they haven't sold out, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's a good time to pick these up because when they do eventually go out of stock, they're gonna go crazy. I do personally think that the Pokemon Center decides the market for these. When they're in stock, people are like, oh, it's so readily available. You know, why would I pick this up? I mean, I wouldn't pay 144 pounds unless you can't get it anywhere else than I actually would. Um, and I'll talk about that in, in, in a little bit, but a lot of these boxes, when they when they sell out on the Pokemon Center, I'm telling you, that's when I believe that they're gonna go crazy. So if you can get ahead of the game and pick these up, don't buy into the hype, buy into things that aren't being looked at. And that's stuff like Paradox Rift, Astral Radiance, and the next set, number three, Brilliant Stars. Similarly, again, like it's got the Trainer Gallery cards, it's it's got the it's got the Charizard, um, it's got the the the, the, the Arceus uh, alternate art as well. It's, it's just a solid set. And um, these Sword and Shield sets, the, the money's not in Sword and Shield right now. It's all in Scarlet and Violet. And when it eventually shifts, which I think it will do in the future, um, I don't know how long it will take, but when the money comes back to Sword and Shield, this is when these sets are gonna go parabolic. And you'll kick yourself that you didn't buy these boxes now, and you'll see them going crazy, and you'll be like, damn, I wish I bought those boxes when, when they were $200, not $400. Um, this is a little bit more of an expensive set, but I, I still think at $200, it's fine. Like you look at some of the XY and Sun and Moon era, era boxes, even the worst sets in those in those zeros are performing really well. You know, you've got like the uh, XY base is like thousands of dollars. You just got to think even the, even the underloved sets that were like 70 pounds a box, $70 a box, they, they, they take off, they take off. So if you don't have positions in these Sword and Shield boxes, you're going to regret it in the future. Um, guys, don't put all your money, don't go broke buying these boxes, just dollar cost average. When you get paid from your work or if you have a little bit of extra money, buy a box here and there. You don't need to buy cases, you don't need to go crazy. Just get a few positions in a few different boxes and, and what I think is really important is to get a variety, you know, diversify your portfolio, buy into a few boxes, maybe get one of each, get a Paradox Rift, an Astral Radiance and just build up over time. You don't need to go broke in this hobby. It's really important you don't go broke. Your, your life is more important, your bills, your family, your, you know, all those things are much more important than buying Pokemon products. So please keep that in mind um, when, you, <laughs> when you're trying to invest in this stuff. Don't go broke for it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, guys, again, number two, Silver Tempest. I mean, this, this box is, again, it's, it's cheaper than Brilliant Stars. It's undervalued, it's Sword and Shield. Is it, is it, on, is it in the, the Pokemon Center? I don't think it's in the Pokemon Center. So that's a good sign. It's, it's, it's still cheap. It's not in the Pokemon Center, which means it's, it's ready to move. It's been stagnant for a while. It took a huge dip. It climbed back up. And again, once the money comes back to Sword and Shield, this set is going to go, it's going to go through the moon. I think I, this is just prediction. I don't know. I'm new. Um, I'm only making this, these assumptions based on sort of the evidence that I've gathered from watching other people and assumptions that I've made through my own research. Um, so don't take it for gospel, please. But this is what I this is what I would be doing, and um, I'll be transparent. If when I have money to to invest into some more boxes, I will be buying at least one of each of these boxes because um, I do believe that they're they're ready to move. Um, you know, you just got to look at the set list. They've got the, the trainer gallery and stuff, and, and all the all the alternate art. The, the Lugia V is actually beautiful, and um, yeah, that's why I'm really really confident in these boxes. Uh, you know, moving in the future. And then, guys, my my number one pick right now is Fusion Strike. Uh, I think this set is extremely, extremely overlooked right now. It's no one's talking about Fusion Strike. I haven't heard anyone talk about Fusion Strike for the longest time. You know, it's it is you know up to like nearly two hundred dollars on the market price, but it's being sold at one seventy. Um, it's still it's still available on the on the, the the Pokemon Center UK, which I think is a really really good sign for it. I think once this when you see this out of stock, guys, and when you see any of these boxes and it says out of stock, they're not reprinting these boxes. They're not reprinting them. And that's when these things are gonna fly. 
So you want to make sure you get these boxes before they go out of stock on the Pokemon Center. I do have a box of Fusion Strike. I bought it last month and nothing's happened with it. And I'm happy about that. I don't want anything to happen with it right now. I want it to just keep staying low so I can get more and then eventually it's gonna fly. Like the, the Gengar is, is a 300 pound card. The Mew is stunning. You've got the SP on VMAX as well. You've even got, the, the Genesect is pretty cool as well. Um, and yeah guys, I think you really gotta look at these Sword and Shield boxes. Whilst everyone's attention is on, one, uh, is on Scarlet and Violet, don't neglect. Well actually, the people that neglect it is actually making a better market play, a better market play for people who then realize that Sword and Shield especially these sets here with the training galleries and the, and the really good uh, alternate arts are primed to make a move and they are a good play to make. So there you have it guys. That's my top five picks for uh, Pokemon Seal Investments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, guys, don't forget about the giveaway. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.